So a customer wants an outside socket just here. So how are we gonna get the cable all the way to there where there's a socket on the other side? Right, to start with, we've got to dig out a trench to find out where this cable's actually gonna go. So I thought, yep, we'll dig all this out, get the stones out of the way, take the first layer off, because then I can put the stones or the slate back down nice and neat after. And then I'm gonna get my little spade and start digging away to try and get a decent duct where I can hide the cable inside this little channel at the side of the slabs. And what we're gonna be putting in is one of these BG Storm sockets. Basically, I like these sockets. They're easy to fit and they've got that little see-through cover on the front where you can see that the switches are on and off. And so we'll get that out, put all the rubbish in the box and get that ready to be fitted straight onto the wall. So after marking it out, we're gonna drill the holes to fix the socket on the wall. And unfortunately this time, that little impact, it didn't do the trick, not on this brick. But as always, we have a plan. Let's get the big mama drill out and make sure we can get a nice deep hole to fix its socket back to the wall. So after sticking a bit of silicon on the back as well, it stuck it to the wall and then I can get my screws out to screw it back to the wall to fix it properly. And obviously keep the level on there as well because we don't want it to look wonky. The last thing, that'll be the first thing the customer, customer picks up, that it's not level. So make sure that that's bang on level. And with these sockets as well, you can just pop that out, that 20 mil hole, pop it out to fit the gland in, ready for the armoured cable to be made off into the bottom. And what I've got here is one of these little whisker, what do you call them, brass socket things. So I can get my screwdriver in there, obviously undo it as well because they don't do up properly with the screws done in. And yes, of course, I've lost the little Allen key it came with, but these are a lot better. So you don't have to drill a hole in the box to be able to earth that gland on the armoured. And then to make off the armoured cable with this armoured slice, this is, or splice, sorry. This is, uh, I think it's a brilliant bit of kit. It just makes the armoured a lot better. You know when you saw it around the hacksaw and it gets all wonky, you get a long bit and a short bit, bend it into place exactly how you want and then make it off. Twist it round so it scores the armoured. You can bend it off lovely and neat and it'll fit in perfect to that gland. And look at that, I got it in there nice, neat and tight. And now to maybe get rid of some of this mud, eh? After second fixing the socket, just get a screwdriver because it hasn't got these little screws. This is the new one where you can twist and lock. Makes it 10 times easier. And then, yeah, I like it. It's nice and simple. Twist and lock it straight on. So then there's none of them little screws you've got to mess around with and put them little grey tabs on. They were great when they worked, but this is better.